Hey guys, it's Robin, your independent Sensi consultant. Welcome back and welcome if you're new. It's what I've been warming Wednesday where I kind of do a little roundup of everything I've warmed in my house over the last week and let you know where I warmed it, how it did, so you might decide what you want to try and where you might want to warm the things that are in your stash. So we will just kind of hop in as usual. Um, this week's a little bit less than usual, um, but I did get through the Island Days collection. So I will kind of go through the reviews of everything I warmed and then towards the when I'm finished doing that we're going to go through just a whole breakdown of final thoughts on the Island Days collection so stay tuned for that there will be detailed warm reviews of the Island Days collection as well as kind of my collective thoughts on the collection as a whole now that I've warmed through them all. Um, we'll just kind of get my daughter's room out of the way first I finished a bar of Angel Experiment 624 in her room this is a kind of cotton candy sweet sort of almost almost strawberry-ish not really strawberry-ish, but some kind of berry-ish sweet cotton candy type scent. Very nice. If you like um, like blue raspberry or like sugar plum type scents, I think you'll like this. This is currently available right now, limited time only. So if you are interested in this one, I would pick it up or put it in your club. I did put this one in my club. We really like this. Um, if you like Aladdin Three Wishes, but you missed out on that one last time it was available, I would try this. They're a little bit similar to my nose. Um, performance on that one, pretty reasonably strong, um, about an average duration, so overall performance is pretty decent on that one. Then in her room I did Sand Swept. This was part of the Wax War warming that I did, um, so stay tuned for tomorrow. We have Wax Wars coming for Shoreline Drive and Sand Swept, so that was what was voted in, so that will be an in-depth review tomorrow. Bathrooms, I finished my bar of Cucumber and Cactus Water. I've mentioned this one before. I did one cube in the bathroom this time to finish it up. Um, my review on this hasn't changed. It's a very pretty green, pretty good performer in my home. Um, it's just not a scent for me. I will not repurchase. But if you like those green sort of cucumbery, leafy type scents, I think you'll really like this. Performance is really good, at least in my house. Then we have Luna. And I did a cube of this just to kind of finish up my bar because I do have a new bar of this now. Um, Luna's one I just like to keep in my stash. It's available year-round. It will be in the fall catalog when that launches next month as well. And it's kind of, I think it's like sweet pea, freesia, sandalwood, and berries. It's very pretty. Even if you're scared of florals, you might enjoy this one. It's got, it's like a sweet kind of light hearted type floral. Very pretty. It's nice in like everything I've tried it in. I just really like Luna. It is on the lighter side. Um, this bar has been sitting a while. I found it did okay in my bathroom. It was about a day and a half. Um, not as long as I like a bathroom bar to last, but it was pretty reasonably smellable while, while it was going. So, um, really enjoy this bar. Then on to our bedroom. Um, two really long lasting bars in there this week. So the first thing I did was Plum and White Woods. I was just craving the scent and I have a couple bars of this in my stash and I thought this one's getting kind of juicy. I should probably use it. So this one is, I'll put the notes below, but it's like a sweet sort of woody type scent. A lot of sweetness here from that plum. I almost get like berry vibes as well without being specifically any type of berry. The wood here is less, it's not at all pine, not at all. Um, it is like a birch maybe or something like that. It's like a, I guess white woods, yes. I would, I would say birch which is probably what they're going for with white woods. Yeah, it's a nice, not overpowering wood scent. If you are scared of tree scents like I am, this would be one you might actually enjoy. Um, and this is one of my favorite tree scents. I was really hoping we would see this and bring back my bar voting. We did not see it in there, so it is not coming back anytime soon. But if you ever do see this in voting, I recommend it. Then in our bedroom this week, I did Driftwood and Jasmine. And I'll get to the... I'll save my review of this till we get to the Island Days reviews. Then in the office, I did Shoreline Drive, again, part of the wax war melting. So this one is kind of a sea mist type scent as well, um, quite strong in the clamshell. So I will save the review on this one for tomorrow during Wax Wars when you're gonna get a very detailed breakdown of the scent along with Sand Swept. Also in the office, I melted Tiare and Coconut and this is also from Island Days. It is very floral, 
very, very floral. Um, so there's that one. And again, I'll save the rest of my thoughts on that one for when I do the roundup of those bars. Star Apple and Freesia in the open layout. Did the whole bar out here. And this one is really, really nice, actually. Like as far as like, if you want a nice fruity summer scent, this is, whoop, this was very nice. And I'll go into more detail in a moment. One mix I did in the open layout this week was I did six cubes of Mahalo Coconut along with two cubes in a warmer kind of by where I sit of Vanilla Waves. This was a nice mix. So Mahalo Coconut's like your fresh sort of watery coconut scent. Very fresh, kind of airy and breezy. Um, Vanilla Waves is like an airy breezy bakery type scent. So these two together paired really nicely. I just really like this one. I have four warmers in the open area here. One of them is kind of like by the chair and couch that we like to sit on. Um, so I did that. This Vanilla Waves went in that warmer and then Mahalo Coconut in the other three warmers out in this area. And that was really nice. So when you were sitting and watching TV, you could mostly smell Vanilla Waves with a little bit of Mahalo Coconut floating by. So that's kind of fun to do too. When you do your mixes, here's a question for y'all. When you do your mixes, do you mix them all in the same dish? So like a couple cubes of each scent in the same dish or do you kind of break them up into different zones normally i do a mix where i do one cube in each dish so that they're all very nicely blended in the same warmer um, for this mix i did it differently i did it so this scent was in one warmer and this scent was in the other warmers um, and i actually kind of enjoyed that it was kind of nice to have one little spot of the room that smelled more like this than like this but that was fun anyways performance wise Mahalo Coconut's about an average performer for me, about a medium strength, medium duration. It was 24 hours, it was fine. Vanilla Waves is a very good performer for me. On the medium plus side, I would say maybe a six or seven out of 10. And duration wise, this one lasted much longer than Mahalo Coconut. I think I might've even left it going an extra day or something. I can't remember for sure, but I think I left this going an extra day or so. So this one might've done two days. I'm sorry, there's a bunch of magpies on my lawn. I'm just, oh, there's a whole family. There's three of them. Salted Bergamot Breeze. I did this in two spaces. I did this in, I did this in Amelia's room as well as the open area. So I did two cubes in her room at one point and then I did six cubes in the open area. And I also did two cubes of Ambrosia. So I don't know if you can hear these magpies, but they're like, having a turf war or something. Piper is riveted. So then I did two cubes of Ambrosia kind of in the little corner that we sit in. Ambrosia was a bring back my bar scent from a round or two ago. And it's like a very fruit punchy type fruity scent. I get mostly berries and orange. It's a very pleasant kind of, very, not generic, but very like, it's more of a berry fruit punch than just like a, when you think, Hawaiian tropical punch. This isn't quite it. This is more red fruit punch, um, but I really do enjoy this one. Pretty good performer. Enjoy that one. Salted bergamot breeze. Again, I will, it was nice in the open area here. I will kind of save my thoughts on this one when, for when I do the roundup of those. And lastly, sunshine and tan lines. Did this in the open area. Also did it in Amelia's room this week. And so we will kind of pull those scents out now and kind of just focus in on the five island day scents because that is everything that I've worn this week. So here we have the five island days bars. As you can see, I've completed three of the bars and I have warmed just a little bit of the other ones. So I've done four cubes of driftwood and jasmine and two cubes of tiari and coconut. So I think you can probably tell which ones were ones that I liked versus not so much. So let's see here. Okay, Star Apple and Freesia. I'll put the notes below. If I remember right, this was like Mango, Freesia, and like Star Apple, which is kind of like star fruit, I think. You definitely get Mango on cold and you got it on warm too. It reminded me quite a bit of Go Go Mango on warm. Um, it had a very airy feel about it. So sometimes fruity scents can be very saturated, juicy fruity scents. This one was juicy without being saturated, if that makes sense. So it was very fruity, a little bit tart, but it was light. 
it didn't it wasn't a heavy saturated scent it was very light in the air um not light intensity but like i guess light and airy i guess um intensity wise i would say about a medium maybe five out of ten um duration it was a one day type scent like definitely just like maybe 12 12 hours not long lasting but very pleasant i would probably even repurchase this one um was it terribly unique not really i mean we've seen scents kind of like this I feel like pineapple mango is quite similar. I feel like pineapple mango is more saturated and a bit heavier. Um, but this was kind of in the same same tone as like pineapple mango or go go mango or some of the other mango scents that we have. But I did really like the kind of crispness of it. It was just a little bit crisp and kind of airy and I, I really did actually end up enjoying this particular scent. So for a hot day, I think you probably can't go wrong with this one. So if you like fruity scents, I would recommend Star Apple and Freesia. Next up is Sunshine and Tan Lines. This one I think was like creamy banana and coconut milk. And I think there was tiare flower in this as well. Or no, orange blossom. It was orange blossom. So this one does have a floral note. But it's very balanced by that banana and the coconut. And the coconut in this is like a toasty coconut, like coconut oil coconut. And the banana is like a very vanilla-y kind of foody banana. It is not candy banana and it's not like medicine banana. It is like foody banana. Um, it's not bad. It's kind of like banana ice cream or like something like that. I guess because of that like vanilla-y note that the banana note has. Um, overall, this one was pleasant enough. In the open layout, I did six cubes. People had said they had pretty good luck with this one being quite strong. Um, in the open layout, I did not find it strong. Um, I would say probably not open layout worthy. Um, Star Apple and Freesia, as far as open layout worthy, mm, it worked okay in mine. I think it would be better suited to medium sized zones or maybe nothing larger than like a TV room um, or like a den. Sunshine and tan lines, I would not recommend for an open layout. Um, it was maybe a 4 out of 10 at peak in the open area here, and it like I don't feel like I could smell it very well. Like, it was one of those scents that gets away from you. So you would walk into the room and be like, oh, there it is, it's very nice. And then you would go to take another sniff, and it would be like, and I can't seem to get my nose around it, I can't find it now. But it was there, you just, it was almost like you instantly went nose blind to it. It was very strange. So... I wouldn't recommend it for the open layout, and it was kind of funny in that I couldn't quite grab it with my nose, if that makes sense. Um, in my daughter's room, I did two cubes. In her room, I did quite a bit better. So like I said, it lasted only a few hours in the open area. In her bedroom, it was like a full maybe 18 hours. So not quite as good as most bars, but reasonable and about a medium strength. So in her room, more like an average performer. So I would say stick with nothing bigger than like a standard size bedroom for sunshine and tan lines, and you'll probably have the best luck with it. Um, overall, I liked this one okay, but again, I'm just not super into these types of scents really. There was a floral note to this that wasn't as um, difficult for me as some of the other florals in this collection. So the orange blossom was the most, I guess, tolerable to my nose, especially being balanced by some of those sweeter, creamier notes. Um, I did feel like it was a very well blended scent. So if you're very terrified of florals, maybe stay away from this one. But if you're kind of on the fence with florals, you might be okay with this one. So there is Sunshine and Tan Lines. That one I do find a little bit different than the other things that we've had this summer. So I do appreciate that about it. It's a little bit on the unique side compared to some of the others. Next we have Salted Bergamot Breeze. And I think I did this one in Amelia's room or the office. No, I think it was Amelia's room. So I did this one in her room, two cubes, and I didn't really get anything out of it. Like, I feel like it just didn't smell. Like, I don't think we smelled it at all. So that was very odd. Yeah, so this one, it's kind of nice, actually. It's like almost a rain type note. Like, it's like a salt water, but it almost has a Christmas like crispness, like a rain or like a rain dawn greenery type scent. Um, I enjoyed it. I appreciated that it wasn't floral like all the other bars in this collection were, aside from Star Apple and Freesia. 
Um, but again, I feel like it's an aquatic scent and I mean, I mean, I don't mind aquatic scents, but I feel like we have so many of them that it wasn't really like outstanding to me. Um, it was, like I said, in her room, I couldn't tell you how it was because we never smelled it like at all. So in her room, performance was a, like, like straight up zero. There was no performance in her room. Um, so based on that warm, I couldn't even review it. So then I tried six cubes, did most of the bar in the open area here on a day when we had the windows closed, trying to see if I could get a better sense of it. Um, and I mean, yes and no. Um, I thought I couldn't smell it at all. And then I went out for a bit, came back in and I was like, okay, there it is. Yeah. But again, it's just like sunshine and tan lines. It was one of those ones that just gets away from you. Like you can't quite grab it with your nose, which is the weirdest thing, but like it just, you can't pin it down to smell it. So when I first walked in, it was like, okay, yes, it's like a sea salty air and like a bit of an aquatic note. It's quite pretty. Um, almost like a bit of a, not quite green florals, but almost like a little slight hint of like a floral greenness. But the main thing was just kind of a, like aquatic sea breeze. It was quite nice. Um, but again, it, you went nose blind to it like instantly, like within three breaths, you couldn't smell it anymore. Um, so, I mean, at the end of the day, when I left and came in, I could smell it for about two days. So I left in my warmers for two days. When I was home, never smelled it, not even a little bit. Um, when I left and came back, yes, I could smell it for a few breaths, but I would not repurchase this one because I just couldn't smell it when I was hanging out. So this one was a big nope for me. Um, scent appeal was okay, nothing outstanding. Performance was really strange on this one. Like it was long lasting and that I could smell it in the space two days later, but not when I was just like living in the space. I had to leave and come back to smell it. So very nose blind prone scent. Some scents you, I just find some scents you go nose blind to and some you just don't. And for whatever reason, for me personally, I really went nose blind to this one. So this would not be a repurchase for me. If you really love aquatic or sea air type scents, you'll probably like this. Next up, we have Driftwood and Jasmine. And this one has been a conflicting bar for me too. So I first did it in our bedroom and the notes on this and the cold sniff, it's like tiare flower, I think, jasmine, driftwood. And I think there's some vanilla maybe in here potentially. It's a very soft floral. If you are familiar with kukui and coconut, it's a similar type of jasmine note with I think some tiare flower added as well. And I do not do well with tiare flower at all. Um, it's kind of similar to Kukui and coconut, less coconut, no nut, but more of the powdery florals and a little bit of that same coconut note in the background. It's a very warm sort of body care type coconut. Um, it's a pretty coconut note. The florals I could do without. Um, so on warm, did this in the bedroom. It was about a light medium, maybe medium at peak, but probably like a three or four out of 10. Not strong, but not terrible for a bedroom. I mean, you don't really want like a crazy strong scent in your bedroom most times anyways. So it was okay. Maybe it was closer to like a four because it was quite strong near the bed where the warmer was. Um, I don't know though. Like it was, it's quite floral, especially for that first maybe 18 hours. Um, I had a hard time getting through that period with this one. Like I almost took it out, but I wanted to be able to give a good review on performance. Um, but it was rough going. Um, so I put this in, in on Friday afternoon and Friday or Saturday morning, I woke up with like a terrible headache and I'm pretty sure it was this because this type of floral does that to me. Like this type of floral specifically, specifically tiare flower will give me a headache like nothing else really will. So that wasn't great. So then most of my Saturday was shot, which was kind of a pain. So I quite hated the scent at that point. I was like, never again. I don't like this. It ruined my entire Saturday. So then about Saturday afternoon, just as I was starting to feel a little bit better, it like morphed and like that floral really kind of took a back seat and really quite, quite disappeared quite a bit. And this very beautiful, like toasted warm coconut came out. And that was very nice. That was very much like what I had wanted Kukui and coconut to be more like. 
So Kakui and Coconut is a scent I really enjoy, but I find it to be very light and not a great performer in my home. This one was like Kakui and Coconut, but it worked and it actually like scented the space. So if you got through the first day and, or first like 18 hours, this one became very nice. So I didn't take it out. I stuck it in there with this one because it got nice enough that I kept it going. Um, it lasted like three days, like total it lasted three days. So that's pretty good. Um, yeah, maybe more like three and a half. Cause like I said, I put it in Friday night, took it out Tuesday night. It lasted four days. So yeah, Friday to Tuesday, four days. That is darn good. It's one of those scents that you put in and it just kind of plugs along for quite a while. So if you like those types of scents, this is one of those. Um, that being said, I would not repurchase it because it gave me a terrible headache. Um, I will stick with Kakui and Coconut because the Jasmine in that one is a bit more muted, whereas the Jasmine in here is quite a bit more prominent and I feel like there's Tiari Flower in here as well and that one is just, does not agree with me. If you like Tiari Flower, you'll probably really like this. If you like toasty warm coconut scents and don't mind some florals, you'll be okay with this. If you don't like florals, do not buy this bar. Um, I will say that. So I did go ahead and put one cube in each of our bathrooms and it's doing really well in there too. Again, fairly light intensity, but it's lasting a couple days. Like it's still in there. It's been a couple days. I'll probably keep it in there a bit longer. Um, it's doing just fine in the bathrooms. So that is how I will use this up because I think I, in the bathrooms, it's really pretty. Because like I said, it's like a body care, warm, floral, coconutty scent. It's absolutely gorgeous in the bathroom in small doses. You do not want this if you are sensitive to florals near your head while you are sleeping. You just don't. Um, but bathrooms is how I'll use the rest of this bar. Again, I wish I could take this bar and just like make it so I skipped that first 18 hours because that was hard to get through. But after that, it was very nice for a couple days. So was it worth it? Life's too short, not for me. Um, there are other bars that I love start to finish and this one will not be ever purchased for me. But it was very confusing as you can tell. Um, Tiari and Coconut. This is the one I use the least of and I did two cubes in the office and that's another tell. If I do something in the office in the office only, that probably means it scared me. Um, and yeah, this one was not for me at all. Um, Tiari Flower, again, is in the name, so you know there's Tiari Flower in it and Coconut. Yeah, I can't with this one. Um, if you like Coconuts for Coconuts, I think you will like both Driftwood and Jasmine and Tiari and Coconut. Tiari and Coconut is very much like Drift or Coconuts for Coconuts, except for less coconuts, more Tiari Flower. And if you like that Tiari flower note, you'll probably really enjoy this. Performance was pretty decent. It was a solid medium for a good 24 to 36 hours. Um, but I found myself really disliking this one. I guess it probably lasted more like two days, so like 48 hours. I found myself holding my breath as I walked by that room because I just, I find the scent frankly offensive. I do not like it. It like hits me right in the eyes and like I just, it gives me a headache almost instantly. I can't with this one, I just can't. So in the perfume community, there's this thing called death notes, where if something's a death note for you, it means that scent is just a deal breaker for you. So there might be a perfume blend that has lots of notes that you like, but if there's that one death note in there, that means you're probably not gonna like it. For me, Tiari Flower is a death note. If there's a scent that I would otherwise like, but Tiari Flower is in there, I'm not gonna like that scent. It's gonna give me a headache, it's gonna cause problems. So for me, that's what Tiari and Coconut was. This was just a no for me. If you like Tiari Flower, if you like Coconuts for Coconuts, you will probably enjoy this just fine. Performance wise, no complaints. You're gonna be probably pretty satisfied with performance if you like the scent. But for me, it was a hard pass, absolutely not. This is going into my reject bin and I'll give it to someone who likes it better than me because I mean, it's not necessarily a bad scent. It's just not a scent for me. So I don't think it's gonna be as controversial as like Very Peri Pumpkin where most people disliked it but I do think there's gonna be a solid chunk of people, especially people that don't like florals, that are not gonna like this scent. Um, but there will be a solid chunk who do. So there is that one. So as far as order of preference, I guess my favorite would be Star Apple and Freesia. 
Again, if I saw this on clearance, I would probably buy another bar. It was very nice, very pleasant. Next up, I would say sun... I'm sorry, the birds are still having their their issue out there. There's been like more that have joined this party too. There's like a big one out there now too. Um, sunshine and tan lines. I would probably buy another bar of this on clearance as well. But again, you notice I'm saying on clearance, I would not repurchase any of these at regular price myself. Um, sunshine, line, sunshine and tan lines. Yeah, I might repurchase again if I saw it on a deal. Um, the other three I would not repurchase. Salted Bergamot Breeze was pleasant enough. I was happy to have it and use it. I will not repurchase. Driftwood and Jasmine. Again, if I could if I could skip that first 18 hours, I would repurchase this. But as it is now, I will not. And Tiare Coconut is just a big old hard pass on me for me. So final thoughts on this collection. So as you can tell, for me, this was not a favorite collection of mine. In fact, this is probably my least favorite collection that Sensi has done in quite some time, um, just for me personally. I really had high hopes because I like the idea. Island days, it could have been like a lot of like, they, I feel like they could have done more with this. And I think my problem is that so many of the scents are similar. Tiara and Coconut, Driftwood and Jasmine, and Sunshine and, Sh Sunshine and Tan Lines are all in the same vein. They are like very similar floral type scents. I don't think they belong in the same collection because they're so similar. If they had done, say, Star Apple and Freesia, because that's your fruity bar, um, do Salted Bergamot Breeze for your aquatic bar, I would have liked to see... This one could have stood in there as well, Sunshine and Tan Lines. And I would have liked to see something like white sand or some other kind of like beachy, pretty scent without being super floral. Um, I just feel like they have three pretty floral bars in the same collection that, and not even three very floral bars, three pretty similar floral bars in the same collection. And I don't love that. Um, I also feel like this collection would have been probably better suited to maybe a June release when we're all pretty excited about like summer and just kind of in the mood to melt those summery bars. As it is now, it releases July 25th. So which means if you're not a consultant, you'll be able to buy it on the 25th. You'll get it probably sometime in early August. But by that time, we've also just launched the fall catalog. So it feels strange to me to have a summer collection that you're receiving at the same time that we're launching the fall catalog. Like that just feels like a discrepancy to me. Um, so I would have preferred to see them launch this for North America just a little bit earlier in the season. Um, yeah, and I would have preferred to see them kind of switch up some of those scents a little bit. So for me, this was kind of probably the most disappointing collection that I've that I've reviewed. Again, there's not a single bar in here that I would repurchase at full price. That said, there are a couple scents that I think are decent. Um, who do I think is going to love this collection? If you love florals, you need to hop on board on this collection. Um, if you like a summer fruity scent, I think Star Apple and Freesia is worth trying. Um, very pleasant. If you want a good performer, like I said, there's a couple in here that were pretty solid. The two florals, Driftwood and Jasmine and Tiari and Coconut, were pretty solid performers. Good longevity on these ones, um, if you like the scents. So there's a couple good performing florals for you. Um, overall, it's kind of a shoulder shrug for me. Um, I think there's going to be a handful of people who absolutely love this collection and quite a few who are kind of like me who are like, it's all right. Um, I think it's going to be easy for a lot of people to skip this one though because like I said, we are coming into the fall collection. A lot of us fall loving folks, myself included, are pretty excited about the fall collection and so it's kind of easy to just like pass this one up and just move on to fall. Um, I know it's still very much summertime but like I said, we always are kind of selling ahead of the season. We sell a lot of our Christmas stuff in like October. Sorry, the light's doing crazy stuff again. Um, basically, my advice would be if you like coconuts for coconuts, you should absolutely hop on board this collection. I would get them all. Um, if you don't like coconuts for coconuts and you're much very much a fall type person, I would skip this collection. Um, that's just my thoughts. If you're headache prone, I would also skip this collection. I know everyone's got different headache trigger type scents, but I think there's a lot of potentially headache inducing notes in this collection. 
Um, so for that reason, I would steer clear of it if you're very headache prone. Like I said, I had a couple run-ins in this collection. Um, overall, eh, it's I'm underwhelmed. I'm very underwhelmed. Um, it's not bad. It's just, it's okay. It's, it is what it is. If you have tried any of these scents below, please let us know in the comments. It is good to get more people's opinions than just mine. So if you've tried these and loved them or hated them, please let me know below. Um, but yeah, I feel like I would have liked a scent like Ocean, a scent like White Sands, like kind of like all those like kind of just classic beachy type scents would have been really nice for island days. Um, but they ended up going very floral with it. So I don't know. Other than that, I will see you guys tomorrow for Wax Wars. I'm also supposed to be receiving my fall and winter bars sometime later this week. So as soon as I get those, I'm going to do a first sniffs and let you guys know how those are. Um, other than that, I will talk to you guys soon. See you in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.